Episode 4, Creating the Teleport Class, Assault 1. So we'll say, um, let's create a new class, and this will be uh, a util, or utility class, and let's call it Teleport. And it's super class, it's browse, uh, it'll extend uh, teleporter from net.minecraft.world.teleporter. Okay, then we'll have to add the constructor, <sighs> which the constructor will have the world server, and then the, the x, the y, and the z. Okay, then up here we'll do the same private final <coughs> world server world uh, then private oops, double uh, x, y, y, and z and then we will set them here so we'll say uh, this dot world equal world I -E -I -N. Perfect. I should actually just want to rename this to just world. And it's easier to type. Uh, then this dot x equals x. This dot y equals y. This dot z equals z. Whew. Perfect. Uh, then we'll have to do an at o. Actually, let's just do place in portal. Uh, then do a control space. And there we go. Okay. Uh, let's just get rid of uh, this super and say this dot world dot get block state uh, new block. Pause. It's an integer. Uh, this dot x. Uh, and then another integer. This dot y. Uh, and another integer. This dot. Z. There we go. and control shift o to import that and end it with a semicolon and control shift f to add the spaces okay then entity dot set course okay now entity dot set position uh this dot x yep uh, this dot y this dot z <clears throat> and then we want to make sure you're not moving. Uh, so entity. Oops. Entity dot set. Oops. Out of it. Dot motion x. Uh, and then this is a float. So we'll say uh, 0 0.f. And we'll set this for y. Z. And the reason I put the point, and you don't have, you can either put a zero or just leave it. If you leave it as just a dot, it'll just add in a zero on its own. Uh, so there's that. Okay, that's it for that method. And then we'll actually do the teleport. Okay, so public static void uh, teleport. Uh, and then this will take a entity, entity player, player, the dimension of that, that, that you're teleporting to, uh, the double X, double Y, and double Z, control shift O to import everything, uh, and we'll get int old Dimension that equals the player dot get 
entity world. And this is for a different reason than the other one. Dot provider dot get dimension. Oh, my hands are bad. Then we'll get entity. We'll create a new entity player entity. And we'll just call this uh, entity player MP. And this is equal to entity player MP. Alright, and then we'll grab the Minecraft server. We'll call this server, and this is equal to player.get entity world dot get minecraft server import that uh, world world server world server equals to server dot get world and then this just gets the dimension and let's just check see if everything was found so world server equal null uh, or if the server equals to null and we'll throw an error and again I don't need braces so throw new legal argument exception and this will basically say dimension wasn't Okay, there's that. Okay, but if it was found, uh, we'll say the world server dot get Minecraft server dot get player list dot transfer player to dimension. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so we we'll grab the player, the, dim the dimension, and then we'll say new like this. So new teleport, and then we'll throw the world server x y z. Perfect. Oops, and I meant to throw in not the player. Okay. With that, oh, never mind. There's one more thing you need to type. Player this is just the regular one. Set position in update. And that should be fine. X, Y, and Z. Perfect. That should be it for this class. Take a good look. And there. There we go down. Uh, if I go back to the warp command. Uh, now we will teleport the player by doing teleport dot teleport. Uh, we will teleport the player to <coughs> ah, excuse me. <clears throat> um, so the dimension, and I'll also have to do uh, dimension equals uh, warps dot get name dot that. Perfect. Now it will teleport you. Uh, but now the reason that I wanted to create the old position and the old dimension is because I want to have it create a warp um, Like a back warp. So It's just a temporary thing. So we'll say back We'll throw the old pause and the old dim in there Perfect 
Uh, now let's just create this really quick. It's a simple private void back, and this will take a block pause pause uh, an int for a function. Uh, okay, this dot warps dot put. Let's call this back. Uh, then we'll create a new abstract map dot simple entry files in dimension. And we'll say get player dot send. Forgetting we did that. Send message. Uh, and then we'll say text formatting dot green. We'll say uh, back warp gate back warp created or back warp saved sure uh, and we'll say like something like type uh, just because I want this to be a different color I'll say text formatting dot old Okay, then I'll do backslash quotes, forward slash, warp, back. Okay. Uh, put this back to green, and we'll say to warp, back, sure. Uh, and then we'll want to export this. And you could <clears throat> you could mess around with this, but I think this is probably the easiest way if you wanted to do it that way. Um, I do like a warp back thing. Um, it's a nice function to have. Okay, so now that this is all set up, uh, and the work back is all set up. Let's actually make a way to do that. Uh, so first let's say if args uh, dot one, if that equals in more case uh, that. And we wanna say something like uh, send message. Text dot red back is ready a uh, allocated work. Sure, that works. And then we will return. So it doesn't go any further. Okay. So here, if it's one, <clears throat> if the length is one, it doesn't equal list or map, uh, then we'll warp the guy. You know? So let's say warp two, warp uh, two, let's say args zero. And perfect, there we go. Okay. 